Hi guys. So I went to the Dollar Tree this afternoon. Um, I was supposed to be at the grocery store. Yeah. Anyway, there's that. So I went to the Dollar Tree because I wanted to look for some of the things that I've seen other people getting. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So I went to one of my local Dollar Trees and I had, I had some success with what I was looking for. Um, but first I want to tell you that this was in my bag when I checked out. It is a Dollar Tree friends and family event this coming Sunday, the 17th, 10% off your entire purchase of $10 or more. So I thought that's kind of cool. Okay. So you guys need to know that probably all of you Dollar Tree people already know this, but I, I'm an occasional Dollar Tree er, I go, um, looking for stuff, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't buy stuff. I don't, if I'm not going to use it or if I don't need it, I'm not going to buy it. So I'm sorry. I can't show you all the new cool things. Cause if I don't need it, I'm not going to buy it. But anyway, I will show you what I got. We got the fruit and grain bars because my son loves them. Um, we got the honey buns because both sons love them. <laughs> we got waffle cookies and they are in blueberry flavored and they are also in vanilla flavored. And these looked really, really yummy to me. So. I got these because I wanted to try them. Uh, expiration on the blueberry is November 15th of this year and November 22nd of this year on the vanilla ones. So I got those to try. I'm sure you guys have probably none of this is going to be new to anybody, but I thought I'd share anyway. Got some corn nuts in both original and ranch. Um, I don't think my kids have ever had these, so I figured I'd give them a shot and see if they like them, and, you know, maybe it's a little bit healthier. Yeah, probably not. Um, I told my son I'd get him Red Hots if I found them, and I found them, so there's his Red Hots. And then I got three packages of these. These are actually a three-pack. My son already ate one. Um, they are Crave s'mores bars from Kellogg's. Um, they're pretty good size. About the size of a Rice Krispie Treat, I guess. Um, my son ate one already and said he really liked it, so I guess they're good. Gotta feed the teenagers and the growing boys and all that, right? And then I found these. Nutty Double Chocolate Bare Naked Layered Granola Bar. Seemed interesting. Um, again, because I didn't go to the grocery store, I got some stuff that, you know, just to make them happy until I get to the grocery store, which would probably be tomorrow. And then I know these aren't really great for us, but they're good in a pinch, and if you are looking for something quickly. So I got chicken and teriyaki two of each of those and that except for a couple of drinks which are in the refrigerator that's all I got for food um, I got some apple juice I got some Diet Coke they had I think it's like a one liter bottle for a dollar um, I got a couple uh, bottles of Gatorade the tall skinny ones um, yeah so and I think a bottle of the Dollar Tree brand cola, maybe? Anyway, that was that. Let me move this stuff out of the way. And I also, I know a lot of you have been picking up that brown um, reusable bag that looks like a basket. And it's got, you know, the nylon strap handle things attached to it and there's like black and blue and purple I think um, I did see that at my store only they only had the the black and the blue I would have gotten purple but um, but I looked at it and it wasn't as big as I was hoping it would be so I actually found this cute bag which is another reusable bag and it was bigger 
Now, I don't know if it's going to be as sturdy because you guys have been giving great reviews to that other bag. So I don't know if it's going to be as sturdy, but it was bigger and I like it a lot. And in fact, that's what I carried my food items out of the store in. So I thought I'd show that to you guys. This cute little blue polka dotted vinyl type bag. Um, again, I don't know how long it'll last. We'll see, but so far so good. It seems to be, I don't think I'd put real heavy stuff in it, but it's going to be great for, you know, boxes of crackers and stuff like that and cereal or whatever that you're going to get at the store. So there's that. Then I found Theraflu there. Now we don't get sick a whole lot, but it's nice to have this in the house because who wants to go to the store when you're already sick, right? You want to be able to just take care of yourself while you're there while you're at home so I got two packages of this there's six packets in each and they don't expire for about a year 11 months so June 2017 so I thought that was great they also had um, some mucinex products but those expired in like October of this year and I didn't think we'd use it by then not that it you know makes it automatically go bad it's just less effective but you know, so they did have other brand name medications, that, but they just had a expiration date that was coming up in a few months, and I just didn't, whoops, I didn't think we'd use it in time. So, so I also got this for my youngest, who's really, this is pushing it for him. He's he's at the point now where he really probably doesn't need the, the you know, children's medicine anymore. He's getting to that age. He's almost, he'll be 11, so he's almost... Um, anyway, this expires in September of 2017, so I thought this would be good to have in the medicine cabinet just in case. And I found these. Um, it's Epsom salt plus alcohol for rubbing and soaking. One is supposed to be heat and one is supposed to be wintergreen. They both say the exact same thing. They both, you know... So I don't, I don't know. In fact, the heat one talks about wintergreen on it. Where does it say? Right here. Enjoy the soothing, calming effects of wintergreen while soaking away aches and pains. So I don't know if they just slap the same label. I, I don't know. But it does say this one does have red in it. And this one doesn't. So I don't know. But I got this because I was having foot trouble. And in my toe area and they the doctor said it could be the beginning stages of arthritis so um which stinks oh by the way but we'll see so I got this thinking well you know if I need it great my husband's always complaining that something hurts so <laughs> so maybe that'll go for him I don't know and then I got because I love this scent so much I got I actually got three of these the Glade cashmere wood solid I like it because it's kind of, you know, discreet. You can just kind of throw it down and tuck it away in a corner. People don't really notice it, but they notice that it smells nice. So there's that. And I got, I found this Wet n Wild Fergie Shimmer Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer. Um, let's see if you can see what that says. The perfect primer now in a shimmer formula preps and brightens eyelids to guarantee ultra vibrant color that lasts all day. Dries to a satiny finish and keeps eyeshadow from creasing. So I thought that might be good. I don't wear a whole lot of eyeshadow. Um, so this isn't necessarily something I had to have. But at the same time, when I do wear eyeshadow, I think that this will help a lot. So, and then, ooh. Ooh. That's in my neighborhood. Interesting. All right. Don't hear that a lot. <laughs> anyway, then I found this super dry, um, quick dry nail polish. It's dry as polish to a high gloss shine. And it doesn't, unless I don't, you know, know the ingredients well, it doesn't have toluene or um, formaldehyde in it. It doesn't appear. So... I thought I'd give it a shot and see. So 
says, after applying your favorite nail enamel, apply super dry as your top coat over wet enamel. It will dry the enamel all the way through to a nice hard shine. When used between manicures, it will brighten your enamel and will dry in 60 seconds or less. That, if this works, I will be so happy because that's one reason why I don't do my nails that much. Look, I did put a little bit of stuff on this one. I was messing around with my daughter. Um, because I always screw them up. Because they always get, you know, like like the bed sheets and get the print in them and ugh, I'm like I, I don't know I just they don't ever dry in time for me so anyway hopefully that'll work I'll let you know I also found these at the checkout register paper mate pencils with school starting um in a month or so well a little little more than a month um those would be good to have and come in handy mechanical pencils and I found I found this really cute. They had a whole bunch of them in all different colors and patterns and stuff. And I thought this was so cute. I just wanted to put it on my my table just to be a little festive. It's just a color changing candle. <laughs> you know, and it's just a pretty floral pattern. I thought it was very summery and nice. And you just turn it on and wipe off the dog hair. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you turn it on and the little battery in there right there which i imagine is you can change out if you can find that kind of battery it just changes color it just kind of goes through and cycles through and changes color and i thought it was just really i don't know i just liked it, it made me happy so i got it so there you go nice summery type thing and like i said they had all different kinds of of colors and and patterns and all kinds of stuff stuff with words on it stuff with plain ones it was great so anyway okay so there is that stuff and the only other things that I picked up were stickers. But they had a lot of back to school stuff out. There was notebooks and folders and pencils and erasers and staplers and calculators. And they had, you know, a lot of their school stuff was totally back to school stuff was out. It was great. Um, I'll show you the stickers I got. These aren't new again, but I was super excited to find these. Because again, my Dollar Trees, I don't always have a lot of luck finding what everybody else is hauling. And I really wanted these because love the colors of these. Purple is my absolute favorite color. And I just thought these were so pretty with the florals and these nice sayings. And, you know, these are relatively big. So some of them can be used in a planner. Others could be used on layouts or you know something else that I do sometimes I embellish like you know picture frames and stuff like that for my kids I'll put pictures in there and or send them off as gifts so I got two of these because I was so excited to find them I think they only had two and then these I found I got two of these as well these I found and I thought these were really cool they're like actual photographs I can't see it too well with that in the background they're actual, like, photographs of flowers. Like, photographs of flowers, but they're stickers. And they're, I just thought they were so neat. I really liked them. Like the pansies and the daffodils and all kinds of pretty ones. Aren't they gorgeous? So I thought they were really pretty. So I got two of those. And then, because purple is my favorite color, and my daughter's birthday is coming up, and her favorite color is also purple, I had something in mind, and I wasn't sure. I have like 100,000 alphabet stickers, but I wasn't sure if I actually had purple, believe it or not. So these are like a foil um, purple, and they're just gorgeous. A beautiful color. They had these in light blue, darker blue, red, like a bronzy color, um, green... Lots of different colors, so it was great. And then, last but not least, I... Yeah, I couldn't help it. I Do I need these? Absolutely not. Do I know what I'm going to do with them? No, not really. Do they make me happy? Yeah! These are so stinking cute! I love the owls. They're so cute. Look at them! Look at this guy! Come on! So cute. They are they call them puffy stickers. They're not puffy stickers like I would think of puffy stickers. They, well, sorry, they call them pop-up stickers. That's more accurate. They're they're like hollow in in the... How do I explain it? Well, you guys have already seen these anyway, I'm sure. But anyway, I just thought they were super cute, and I had to get them. 
So I got those. So that was everything that I got today. Um, they again, they do have some back to school stuff. They also have stuff that looks like they get that it, they're you know aiming it towards planner people. Um, they had an actual zipper pouch with um, an elastic that you could like slide over the cover of a notebook or a planner or something like that to store pencils or stamps or you know ink spots whatever you want in there those were by jot and i saw those there and they hadn't been mostly i didn't see anything except primary colors so it didn't really strike my fancy so i didn't get it but it, it was cool it looked cool i saw some rubbery kind of material embossed wristlets that you could use also for storage um i saw some good stuff but you know i didn't buy everything because i can't so <laughs> anyway so I hope you guys have fun, and I hope you guys find what you're looking for at the Dollar Tree. Um, I may hit up one or two more this week. I'm not sure. We'll see. I hardly ever have any luck with washi, so, you know. Anyway, and don't forget that this Sunday, 10% off your entire purchase of $10 or more, which is pretty awesome. And it does say some restrictions apply. Um, offer valid only on Sunday. Not redeemable for cash. Not transferable. Not can be, Cannot be used in conjunction with any other. Uh, voucher, manufacturer's coupon, or discount, void of copy, transfer, duplicated, blah, 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 the usual. Limit one voucher per customer. So there you go. All right. So happy shopping, everybody. Thanks for watching, and feel free to leave me any comments. I love to hear what you guys are doing. All right. Take care. Bye.